Go see daddy. Hey team, uh, just wanted to introduce, we're so excited to have Jamie Holbert on tonight, Emerald Ambassador, and she is going to talk to us about keeping your fire with Plexus, and we are really, really excited to have her on, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to her now. Hey everybody, um, I'm so thankful that Melanie asked me to be a part of this because um, this is something that I frequently revisit myself anytime I feel like my business is not where I want it to be. Um, because we all know this business is not like a steady, like mountain peak. There's ups and downs, there's plateaus, just like everything. And um, as an Emerald Ambassador, I, I see the amazing Plexus perks, but until I got there, this was really what kept me going to keep my eyes on my goal of being emerald and sapphire and diamond and so i kind of wanted to share that with all of you especially after our um october month which i know was kind of hard for a lot of us um, myself included um but it's something that i think shows how much we've grown as a company and so um the question i always come back to myself is what do you want with your plexus business why did you join not necessarily like your why but the business aspect because a lot of us join you know for the um health benefits and then the business comes later but why and what do you want with your business side um what is holding you back from growing and what um is driving you to go forward um i know sometimes you can be nervous or scared of failure um, scared to post on Facebook. And um, I know when I started, um, I'm gonna give you kind of my little story. Um, October was my two year anniversary. And um, as Melanie said, I'm an Emerald Ambassador. I was a few hundred short of Sapphire, which I'm not gonna mention back office, but <laughs> <laughs> um, um, hopefully either this month or next month will be Sapphire. Um, but um, when I joined Plexus, um, I was so excited, so excited because I saw the comp plan and um, I was just like, oh my gosh, like all of these different perks, like this is so amazing. I saw so much potential. But at the same time, I was overwhelmed because I was like, how do I get from point A to point B? And those of you that don't know me, I um, taught high school math and so I'm very like linear, I think math equations, like, okay, um, when I joined in October, my goal was to be emerald by that July 31st. And so I mapped out on my little timeline what I needed to hit when and all of that because that's what my goals were. Um, but at the same time, I saw that emerald way up here and I was kind of overwhelmed by how to get there. And I saw the, all those points and I thought, Holy moly, I don't know that many people. And and it's okay. And that's what I wanted to kind of talk to you about is that it's okay that you don't know it all. Um, because being in the business two years, I still don't know it all. We're still learning. Um, and sometimes it's very easy to not only just get discouraged, but get complacent where you are. Um, one of the things that was eye-opening to me at convention um, this past year was sitting in the little emerald section up front. Um, they had people raise their hands how many were at the first convention four years ago. And I, I personally was kind of surprised at how many people were still in the emerald section four years ago. And um, talking to a lot of them, they were like, well, we've arrived. We have reached emerald status. And I know it's very easy when we hit silver, gold, it's like, yes, I made it, I worked hard, and it's so easy to get complacent where we are, because we worked hard, and, and it's so easy to just be like, I'm going to check out for a few days, and then a few days turns into a few weeks, turns into a few months, and we forget, and um, so we got to keep that fire alive, and um, sometimes we can get discouraged because we don't rank fast enough. Um, so I told you I had a goal of ranking in July of 2014 um, to Emerald. I had even bought a planner and I wrote and decorated Maui 2014 and I, it was my goal. And guess what? I didn't make it. 
and I was so mad I threw that that planner in the trash and I was just like this, this is so dumb like I didn't make my goal and I was so discouraged but then I thought back and I thought about how much I had grown and that God had me where I was at for a reason because it really helped my leadership skills and um I had a choice to make I could either check out because I didn't make my goal and say I didn't make it I failed this plus this business is just a bunch of hokey pokey and I could check out or I could realign my goals and say it's okay let's make that a new goal and let's learn what can I do I can learn from my mistakes I can learn from um, my own failures and that's what I thought was the most important thing because you have a choice every day um, every month to be consistent and have faith that you're going to get there. Um, I could have just stopped and said, well, I didn't make it. I guess I'm just going to sit back and say, well, in God's timing, and I'm not going to do anything. But I chose to then just say, no, I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to still do what I know what to do, and I'm going to have faith I'm going to get there. And guess what? I did. <laughs> and you will too. And um, so one of the things that I learned was I have an acronym because, like I told you, I teach math. So um, I think about formulas. And for me, the formula I kept remembering was Plexus. So I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see Plexus. Um, Plexus for me stands for these letters, and they kind of go with what I remind myself, either when I get discouraged when I get complacent, um, when I'm training my own team, because sometimes we want to, we get so excited out the gate that when we don't hit gold that second month, it's so easy to just want to throw the towel in. And um, so the P stands for pray and persevere, because every month we're at the start of a new month. And so you should be praying about, okay, what are my goals for this month? And I always train my team, you should have a good better best goal a good goal something for pv for yourself um something that's easily attainable you should have a better goal which is something that's going to challenge you and you should have a best goal something that you personally think you could never hit but because you're going to pray about it and persevere through god's help you probably could hit it um so that's how much came to do that with their own pv um, with their rank. So if you're a silver ambassador, gold is next. So you need 20 people. So I say, so if you've averaged adding one person to your team every month, then a good goal would be one new team member. A better goal would be three new team members. And a best goal would be like five new team members. Something that's going to push you out of your comfort zone. Um, and then you want to challenge your downline. Um, even if you only have one person, I tell them, help them make good, better, best goals every month. And then um, those goals you don't meet, we, we revisit them and, and we persevere through those. Um, the L is for learn. And um, as you're growing your business, um, one of the things I've personally learned is you never stop learning. Um, there's always new products to learn. There's a back office to learn. Um, there's your people that you're signing on. Everybody learns this business different. Um, just like teaching, um, I teach multiple different ways. I teach kinesthetically. I teach visually. I teach auditorily. Um, you're always going to have a mixture of students in your classroom and you're always going to have a mixture of personalities on your team. I can give some of my ambassadors um, a list of goals and they like to check them off. I can give another person that same list and it doesn't help them. Um, some people need to help be helped differently. Um, and by learning, you also want to learn more about our comp plan. Um, study it because if people want to know about the business, you've got to be able to explain to them how these different ways of getting paid working for you. Um, you've got to 
educate yourself. That's what the E is for. And by educate, it means more like about the business side, about network marketing. Why is Plexus so successful? Why do we have the best comp plan? What sets us apart? Because unfortunately, most people have done some sort of networking business before, and oftentimes they've been burned by it. And so when you bring up Plexus, they're like, nope, don't want to hear it. Um, when I first heard about Plexus, I worked with Melissa Eichenhorst and with Kim Tharp. And I was really good friends with Melissa. And when she first told me about Plexus, I was like, I don't even want to hear it. I did Arbon and I bought more products than I ever made money. I made $20 and I just, I don't have time for it. And I just don't want to hear it. I, my wall went straight up and I did not give her the time of day. Um, but because she was educated on the Plexus comp plan, and me, as her friend, she was able to say, well, you don't have to stock products. You don't have to have parties. And so that, to me, I let my guard down. And I was like, okay, tell me more. What, what, what else do I not have to do? What else makes Plexus different? You need to educate yourself on your audience. Not just the comp plan, but the people you're sharing about. Um, if you're trying to sell every single person a triplex, <laughs> triplex is a great product. I love triplex. But if m the person I'm sharing to really needs pain relief, triplex may not be the best option for them. Maybe it's our fast relief system. Or if you're trying to have somebody buy Slim and Accelerator and they're on blood pressure medication, not the best thing to recommend. So education is so important. Educate yourself on our products, on network marketing, and on your audience. And then the X, um, X is a really hard letter to come up with stuff for. So um, that's why I put expect. Um, you wanna expect that you're gonna get to your goal. It may not be tomorrow. Um, you may have a super lofty goal of I'm going to go Emerald in 10 months. And some people have, have done that, but you have to understand that's not the normal time requirement. And everybody's journey is different. I have been Emerald since December of 2014, so last year. Um, it's a lot slower than I thought, but I expect to be diamond and I will be diamond. And along this journey, I have learned so much about our new products, about our new back office, all of these things. Um, you is so important. Um, your upline. It's very easy when you're frustrated to start messaging and, oh my gosh, I can't believe this or that. Um, it's very easy to ask for help from somebody from another team, but your upline is there for you. Um, you always should reach up. Um, I have ongoing chats on Facebook with some of my closest friends. Um, you should always reach up or across. And so, like, I always talk to um, Kim, Melissa, Laura, and Janelle and Stephanie, we're all part of the same team. And so we all can kind of um, like brainstorm and come up with stuff that will best suit our teams. Um, you want to be the upline for your team. So even though you may only have one person, you have a team. You are their upline. You are their leader. You want to make sure that you are supportive to them. If When I first started, my team grew faster than I knew what to do with them. Um, when I signed on um, that November, I well, let me back up. In December, in uh, October when I signed up, um, I went silver in four days. And I was so excited because I was like, yes, sweet. Um, and then um, in November, Sonia Dudley did a, Call and she challenged us to sign 30 ambassadors in 30 days. And so I, one of my five strengths is competition because I played sports through, throughout college and high school. And I signed um, 24 ambassadors, which was an awesome momentum. However, I had no clue how to lead them. And so it was so important for me 
to reach up to my upline. And when my ambassadors would ask me questions, you don't have to know all the answers. It's okay. You reply and you say, I don't know. Let me get back to you real quick. Because the best way to learn is to teach. Um, you are teaching your downline. So when they ask you a question, reach up to your upline and be that person for them. And then I think the most important thing is S, to stay consistent. Um, this business and industry we're in, if you are posting on Facebook for three weeks and then you're not posting anything and then you're posting and then not posting, it's yeah. so easy for people to be like, I'm not taking that girl seriously. Sorry, Jamie, we're getting some background noise. So I muted everybody. Can you unmute yourself? I have everybody else muted. In the bottom left hand corner. You Mine was at the top. Okay, there you go. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that's I just, okay. sorry against the background noise. And I meant to do it at the beginning, but that was a good reminder. <laughs> so, no, that's okay. Thank you um, so much. No problem. So, um, you're, anyways, if you're not being consistent, it sends a message to your audience that either the comp plan does not work as well as you say it works, um, the products don't work like you claim they work, or what you're really saying in all these testimonials really aren't true. Um, my sister was an ambassador on my team and she started off great. She um, was consistent for several months and then she stopped. She grew complacent and she stopped. And then when she tried to come back on, she was um, expressing to me how hard it was and why don't people um, pay attention to her posts and all these things. And, and I tried to explain to her, you posted and then you didn't post. It sends mixed messages to your audience. Does that mean your Facebook has to be full of Plexus posts? No. Um, a general rule is like, I post something personal in the morning, I post something Plexus mid of, middle of the day, and it doesn't mean that you have this cute little graphic. It means something simple like, Plexus paid for my lunch today, thanks Plexus. Or, I was able to take my kids to the park today because I had energy, thanks Plexus. Um, something simple. People want to hear the sincerity of why you do Plexus. They don't want to hear some advertisement. And so those are the six things that help go over in my mind over and over when I'm praying about my business. It's, it's something that is so important that we do and become a habit. And so I'm going to Stop sharing my screen so that I can see all of you. And um, I wanted to know if anybody has any questions or anything. So I'll get brave and unmute. We'll see what happens. <laughs> unmute. Okay. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for Jamie? Thank you so much, Jamie. It was very helpful. I just love that acronym and think I took some notes. It was very good. I know we've got some new people on tonight, so let us see if anybody had any questions. Dr. Graham, do you have anything to add? Not right now, I don't. Lauren, Lauren do you Wallace, thanks for coming on. You're Lauren, welcome. Lauren, do you have any questions? No, not right now. Okay. <laughs> I just want to really excited that everybody jumped on because this is we're going to make November a really great month. And I think if we can follow this system and just stay consistent, yep. that we will really build some, a lot of momentum November and December before the holidays, because in January, everybody's going to lose weight and these people have a head start. So, thank you so much for being on. And Jamie, thank you so much for your training. Absolutely. You're welcome. And November and December are awesome months for Plexus. I mean, Get ready. That's all I have. Get ready. It's going to get busy. Yeah. It is. For sure. So, I mean, I know that October was kind of slow, and that's why I kind of wanted to do that, that side of the training, because November and December are going to be busy. But, you know, it's not always going to be so fast-paced. Yes, that's very true. That's a good point. And then also just some announcements. Um, we have an online party that is going to launch on Thursday.
November 5th at 8 p.m. So make sure you add your potentials. These are actually people you've been talking to. Let them know that you are adding them to this group. Don't just randomly add people. Make sure it's actually potentials you've been talking to. Um, don't you feel like that's more effective, Jamie? You've been hearing that from people for the online parties. Yeah. Um, so actually a lot of it, really what you do on the front end by talking to them and letting them know you're adding them to the group is more effective than just randomly adding people just to see if they'll see the post. Because people just don't like that. That's like when we get added to all the other parties that we may not want to be added to. I won't name any names. Um, it would be like people that have had the seven-day trial that we've already talked to. These would be great people to add. Exactly. So, and that's the other thing, just to let y'all know, every Sunday in the month of November, Team Allen is going to run a seven-day trial. It's going to start on Sundays. We've had a little delay in shipping, so some people haven't received it. So we just thought, you know what, these seems to be working well. So every Sunday... Throughout the month, we're going to start a brand new uh, group, so we'll get that going as well. And um, I don't think there's anything else. We got free shipping now. If you guys haven't seen the email yet, the free shipping does not have a code, so all you have to do is let everyone know November first through the thirtieth. All products, all countries, free shipping for customers, ambassadors, everybody. So. Use this month to build our team. Our My goal for our team is 100 new ambassadors. I believe we can do it. And it is my birthday month, so I'm going to shoot for the stars for us. So uh, let's do it. Team. So that's I'm going to come up with the contest. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to stop recording because – does anybody have any questions for Jamie? Because mine's just really announcements. But everybody's so quiet tonight.